Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Amy and this is Amy's Lifestyle on Budget where we do all things live in life on a budget. In today's video, we are getting back into the swing of things with my first paycheck of December's budget planning. Um, so if that's something you're interested in seeing, keep on watching and let's get on into the video. Okay, so starting with my goals, I'm gonna turn this sideways, or I guess I'll, yeah, work it out. Uh, starting for my goals this pay period, my number one goal is to have as many no spend days as possible. I need to get back into that. The holiday season really is terrible for me in terms of my bad habits. So I need to get back onto no spend. So my goal for this pay period, like I said, was to have as many no, stay, no spend days as possible. Obviously, I know that that's not gonna be <clears throat> every day because I have some things going on that I need to like get gifts for and whatnot. So <clears throat> that's my first goal. My second goal is to stay within my planned budget. So hopefully I've thought ahead and really considered all of the uh, op like events and whatnot that I have going on uh, and uh, planned for those in my budget because I really want to stay within my budget in terms of um, that. Upcoming purchases, I have a couple more Christmas gifts to get. And I have, um, these are really the final Christmas gifts, and I have some weddings coming up. So some wedding gifts that I need to get as well. Other than that, we're starting in my checking with $415. My savings has just over $2,000, and my wedding has just over $5,500. Um, my paycheck this pay period was $1,334. And my savings got $432 of that. Let me grab my calculator because it's been a while and I'm not prepared. So that gives us... Let me make some room here. That gives us a starting point of 1334 minus 432, $902 to budget with. Okay, so I'm going to start with, uh, usually I would just kind of go down the line. Oops, sorry guys. Normally I would just go down the line and uh, start at the top, but I have some things that I know I need to get. So I'm going to start with gift. So this is going to be $300 because I have a couple weddings and um, a thank you gift that I know I need to get. So that is going to take up a pretty large chunk of the budget this pay period. So I'm left with $602. I'm trying to find the best way to put this so y'all can see it. Okay. And then I've got, um, I know I have some Christmas gifts left to purchase. Um, but I know, I also know that it should be within the $200 range. So I have $400 left, $402 <laughs> left to budget with. Um, I think I'm going to do then, um, obviously groceries are huge. We have a pretty stocked fridge right now, so I'm going to give us a hundred dollars for groceries for the next two weeks because we have so much food in our refrigerator right now. We really need to eat through that. Gas is going to get $50, another necessity there, and then, um, Pets is going to get 30 and car maintenance is going to get 30. So that brings us down to 192. I am not going to stuff FabFitFun. I'm not going to stuff household. I'm not going to stuff education. And I'm not going to stuff personal wedding or clothing 
my bonus at the end of this month, but really at the beginning of January, is going 100% to my wedding, so I feel good about that. And then we have 192 left to split between travel, food, and miscellaneous. I'm gonna do $42 in miscellaneous spending, um, and that gives me 150. And then we're gonna do $100 towards travel and $50 towards food to bring our budget to zero this pay period. I feel good about that. And then again, my second goal to stay within my plan budget, I'm, I'm really gonna be mindful of my spending um, as it pertains to these categories. So that being said, um, I think I'm going to... Um, Uh, yeah, I'm going to go pull the cash out. I'm not going to pull the cash out for Christmas just because it's like a couple things that I need to pick up online. So I'm not going to pull the cash out for that. Um, so I'm just going to go grab some cash for a travel car and pets. And then we'll come through and we'll fill out our balance while I do the cash stuffing. So if that is something that you're interested in seeing, go ahead and tune into my next video. It'll be a nice, easy, short one, quick cash stuffing. Uh, and we'll kind of count out the balance that I have in some of these other funds. So if you are looking uh, forward to seeing that, check out my next video and I will see you guys there. Bye.